Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad you are here. And today we thought that this purchase would warrant a short review. Uh, today we are talking about the nine inch cutoff saw kit with one key technology by Milwaukee. Um, this saw you're gonna see here in just a few moments really shed some light on a few things. You know, we do things in the construction industry, big and small, and we do things out here on our ranch, big and small. And so with the weight savings that you're gonna find with this tool versus, you know, your traditional gas, and the fact that you have to carry the fuel the oil perhaps, I don't know what your setup might be, but in this case is you throw a battery in it and go. And so for us out here, um, you know, two things. On the construction side, you know, we can run out and we can do a couple of quick cuts. We can do some longer cuts. Uh, this kit, matter of fact, comes with two 12 amp hour batteries. So the runtime on it's pretty good. Uh, quite impressive, actually. And uh, a four 6,000 RPM machine. And the other side of it, from the construction side to our ranch out here, you know, you could take off out on your side-by-side -side to pasture, or in some cases, you know, this could easily, easily fit in a saddlebag that's not very wide quite narrow and uh, the weight and that's with a 12 amp hour battery in it um, you could strap this to a saddle bag put it in a saddle bag depending on your situation you can run out to pasture and you know cut all kinds of t, t post uh, rebar whatever your situation may be so following my introduction we'll jump right into uh, uh, some cutting you'll notice uh, the first cut is kind of uh, I don't know it's it's kind of nerving really it, it, you know we were what we were trying to do is just kind of find that sweet spot here on the saw so you'll see the cut you know we we took our time with and uh, when I get behind the saw I really found the sweet spot to be I mean, right here where I thought it would be. And once you get that uh, blade started, I mean, it just digs in and it does, I won't say it doesn't work for you, but it does. And uh, so without further ado, I think we'll jump into this. Um, you know, I think I mentioned this was a 6,000 RPM machine. Um, with the kit though, you're gonna get the saw, you're gonna get the uh, metal cutoff blade, you're also going to get the uh, the diamond uh, blade for uh, concrete. It's been so so darn cold here uh, this week. We haven't had a chance to really dig into some concrete, but I'm really anxious to do that. Uh, and speaking of concrete, to keep that dust down, you'll see it's got uh, you know a, a water connection here, which is just a basically a, a standard water hose quick disconnect. It does have a quarter quarter on and off valve here. And <clears throat> what's great about this is if you are if if you have or you don't have, you might consider this is a uh, backpack sprayer from Milwaukee. And in this case I have the water supply tank on and uh, got a quick disconnect fitting here. You can see it just clips on right off so uh, once you apply the water to it with a quarter turn valve it activates the pump uh, that is if you have the pump on and uh, it applies water here to both sides of the blade and uh, so with that said we'll jump in here and at the end of this video I'll I'll share with you a few things that uh, I didn't like so much, and I'll share with you some things that I did. So here we go. 
All right, everybody, quick blade change on the uh, 2786 uh, Milwaukee cutoff tool. So on board, you have, in, you have a uh, hex key installed or uh, that sits right here. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I mean, it just wants to fall right out. Not big on that one, but we'll figure something out. So on this here, this is your scrunch, your wrench, and uh, so it mounts in the back here, and it's fine. I think it mounts in there pretty good. Uh, it, fric it friction fits in here, and but this hex key it just, that needs help. So what we have, we have a hole here for the hex key, and you're going to rotate with the scrunch until you feel that hole. And right there it is. So I'm gonna hold this in position, loosen the nut, back it off, remove the bolt and the washer. And I'm gonna remove the outer flange here. So you have an inner flange blade, make sure it's seated properly. And you know, I'd really like to see some sort of push button right here for the blade lock. Just, I think it'd be better. But not knocking it, it's a good saw. And that's what these reviews are about. They, they need to know where we as consumers and professionals seek improvement. And if we weren't in continuous improvement, well, it'd be terrible. Everything would be. So here we go. I'm gonna tighten that up. Okay. And that's it. That's your blade change. <clears throat> so we're gonna do uh we're gonna do some metal cutting next. So I'll go ahead and put my tool back. Here we are, ready to go. So it's got a tool lock feature right there. I can lock that tool out. Connected from it, but you can see here where the information pulls up, serial number, and it's even got a picture I took of the tool, tool number that I signed it. So I'm gonna go down here and add in purchase information, service records, which I have it set to service once a year. I can even assign it a barcode, print the barcode, apply the barcode to it. And there's all kinds of parameters on here you can do with the uh, one key. So tracking the tool on a job site that would come in handy. So, all right, that's the one key feature. We've got it set up. We've got our blade installed for cutting steel. So we're gonna cut some steel. All right, so we're repurposing a few T-posts, uh, some old rusty bent T-posts. Uh, we've, we've got, you know, for whatever reason, we've got, uh, got some steel here that we can work with.
higher uh, carbon content. So it's going to be quite a bit harder than the uh, T posts we were cutting. So, Chuck, I'll take the camera if you want to um, make the cut. I've got for you, bud, is how's the line of sight on that thing, seeing that line that we marked? Uh, not too good, but uh, once you start following it, uh, the blade pretty much will walk itself as soon as you get started. Okay. The first part of the line held pretty good. You see I'm a probably about a sixteenth off from one end to the other instead of making a good straight cut. Nothing your grinder can't take care of, I guess. No. Whenever. Okay. All right, well, uh, I'll mark another spot on that thing with that square. Why don't you do that, and let, we'll make one more cut. We'll do. Okay, I'm going to do a vertical cut. Because uh, a flat cut's a little bit harder to do uh, going straight across. But here we're going to go straight up and down and see the difference in how well it cuts. Ready? Ready. I tell you a what, little bit more easier to handle and maneuver instead of doing a flat cut. You take this, uh, people may not think about this, but you take this, you, you strap that to a saddle bag or whatever, you get out to pasture, and you'll find there's all kinds of rebar, T posts that need to be, you know, modified in all kinds of different ways. Uh, there's some heavier hog paneling that this would be great for, and you wouldn't be carrying much weight. Don't have, you're not carrying fuel, oil, nothing. No. So I could see that being real handy. All right. What would you say? Two thumbs up? I'd give him plenty of thumbs up. Handy, quick, light, easy to handle. Okay. Cut well, good, too. All right. Well, Chuck has about 40 years' experience in the steel industry. So that's coming right from the mouth. So anyway... Two thumbs up, Milwaukee. Well, I hope that gives you guys an idea of uh, just how this machine will work for you. A um, couple things. Um, it does have an indicator light on the top if you're overworking the machine. Uh, nowhere in our test, and, and by no means did we, you know, really get down on it, but that will come with some concrete when things thaw out just a hair. And uh, so it does have that. Uh, the... <clears throat> this uh, shroud is easy to uh, maneuver if you're going to do some uh, maybe some vertical cutting or uh, you just want to distribute the let's say water or, or hopefully not dust but you know hopefully water uh, when it comes to concrete uh, uh, cutting you can move this back and forth it's a, it's more of a friction fit um, I felt 
but I felt that the lid just seems a little, it should be fine, but you know, if you're just handing these out to hands and expecting it not to come back broken, I don't know, there could be an issue. Uh, the other thing I didn't care for and was this uh, hex key here, this tool. I mean, this tool just, I mean, it just wants to fall out. I thought that could have been better uh, designed. This is not so bad. This uh, scrunch uh, friction fits in here. You know, I, th I thought maybe they could have put that under the battery cover, you know, friction fit. I mean, anyway, that's kind of minor. Now, what I will tell you is, is it's got the RPM and it has uh, a nice brake. So, and you can feel the torque on that when it breaks. And it has, uh, to me, it feels like it has uh, some soft start technology built in it. It just doesn't immediately torque the machine. It, it ramps up. Uh, at a rapid pace, but yeah, it's a nice machine. It feels well built. Uh, again, it's just that lid and the tools that are kind of stuck in it doesn't seem great, but as far as the trigger, the trigger safety, um, water connections, you know, this is going to be a really cool saw. Uh, you know, this is going to be a big time saw for us and, and it won't, probably won't be our only purchase. Uh, this part number for just the saw only is 2786-20. And for the kit, it uh, is 2786-22HD. So 22HD in the kit form, again, like I mentioned in the beginning, it comes with the saw, comes with the metal cutoff blade, your diamond tip blade for concrete, uh, as well as two of the big boys, the 12 amp hour batteries and a rapid charger. So it's a, you know, a step up from your, you know, uh, standard charger that Milwaukee offers. So I hope this has helped uh, someone out there as far as uh, making an informed purchasing decision on this. And um, we're very satisfied with it. I think we'll continue to be very satisfied with it. And uh, go out and get you one. Thank you. See you on the next one.